Whiskey Hall just got interesting this month. With a little beer and at the end. Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are whiskey hauling it up. Whiskey Hall, the second to last whiskey hall. It is. It feels like it's the last one, but... Gosh. December's going to be so busy. Yes. Yeah, December's yeah. going to be oh super busy. Gosh, it's ridiculous. Yeah. But this month was, you know, it was an odd month for us because, A, we were both sick. Yes. You hunted beer for like two straight weeks. Uh, yes. This, uh, just full disclaimer, uh, I November is my beer month. It's where he openly cheats on whiskey. I do, openly. And then just straight goes beer for like two weeks. <laughs> I really do. So it is what it is. So some of my whiskey this month is going to be beer. Yeah, at least I threw a little scotch. Oh, yeah. You did. You did throw a little scotch I, I did throw All a right, little let's scotch. go ahead and get it started. All right. You want to go first? Yeah, go ahead. We haven't even discussed order. Or nah, how many does, we're throwing matter. stuff out yeah, there. we'll just throw stuff out there until it right. comes to an end. So first thing I got this year was the old Proper 12. I think this is the old Connor McGregor. McGregor? Knowledge. McGregor. McGregor. Uh, scotch. So I have decided that for 2023, I want to get a little bit in the scotch. I just want to dabble. Just a little scotchy scotch. I started to dabble in 2022 and I haven't loved it yet. What have you had? Uh, well, my guy, Paul. At, uh, my <laughs> I guy, do need to go talk to Paul. My actually. guy, Paul. I've at, been so busy. I went and talked yeah, to Paul in a at, hot minute. At Liquor Barn. Um, he has given me a few different to, to try and uh, let's just say it's been interesting. I've liked a few of them. I've hated a couple of them. So we'll see how it goes. So anyways, uh, my whole point is I decided why not start with a celebrity bottle because, you know, that tends to go over really well. Oh, yeah, it's well. going to go real well. But anyways. What's the uh, what's the gin company that Ryan Reynolds uh, owns? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I can't Look, I can't drink gin. Yeah. Just no, I'm mean. just saying like that's a... a you know, or the rock tequila. Yeah. Uh, my first one uh, this month is uh, Redwood Empire. You all know our love for Redwood Empire. My liquor barn has started to get Redwood Empire, and so I almost feel an obligation to contribute to the purchasing. Redwood so that Empire they can, is fantastic. Yeah. So they continue to keep getting it. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the only one my liquor barn gets. Is is this? Which is a good one to have. Sure. But I want them to get all of them. So yeah, I lost mine. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm yeah, trying to get all of them. So yeah, so yeah. All right, so my first, well, I guess kind of going to bourbon now. My first actual bourbon is a Huber's cigar pick. Now this is actually done through the Brickhouse Grill and Pub, and uh, I guess the Slaughterhouse or whatever. I should have asked him. So uh, we actually had somebody. I made a trade with somebody for a Four Roses barrel strength, and what I like about it is has the old uh, has my guy on the back of yeah. it. Yeah. So, uh, you know, Murray, I mean, he just funniest dude out there, funniest dude alive. Yeah. So arguably. So I was just really, really happy to be able to get one of these. You know, these cigar blends are for Hubers. I mean, obviously you have like Joseph A. Magnus up here, but I think overall these are yeah, like they, the second overall. Again, they I really, mean, really good. they do a really good job of blending. So uh my next one is and I'm gonna ch I, I, I'm cheating on this one a little bit because I technically got this in October. But I forgot to put it in October Whiskey Grab, nice. so uh, I went ahead and added it to November's Whiskey Grab, and it is the uh, Smoke uh, smoke Wagon Malted uh, Barley Rye, the Malted Rye, I, th I think it's just what it's called, yeah, Malted Rye Whiskey. Uh, I have not tried it yet, but I have heard... I have. I have heard nothing but nothing good about it, so <laughs> it may go untried, it may stick like this. Honestly, I will probably open it and try it because I bought it. So um, that that is what it is. So no one I have heard has been happy with it. So this week's video is brought to you by Shaker and Spoon, a monthly cocktail subscription service. Where each month you'll get three different cocktails where you'll be able to make four cocktails of each recipe, which is 12 cocktails altogether yeah. with, with some amazing ingredients. Yeah. So here's the deal. When I get together with my friends... Like, mm -hmm. the thing that they love me to do is make cocktails. Oh, yeah. I, it's such a cocktail city that yeah, we live it, in. It really is. And, like, it takes me forever to go find the ingredients. Yeah. It's expensive for me to go find the no ingredients. Doubt. And then I end up wasting a bunch of ingredients. So, oh, yeah. like, 
the shaker and spoon subscription is like the best thing it is for ab- what we need to do it's absolutely perfect yeah like how like the ingredients are absolutely perfect in the amounts that they provide and the quality of them like i always feel like you can always tell like the quality of it just like how yeah. like the smell of it like just off the nose man it is amazing so if you are looking for a gift this season if Perfect. you are just wanting to host a party and make yourself look really awesome because you make some really, really killer drinks, yeah, this is the subscription for you. So take the opportunity, uh, go to shakerandspoon.com, uh, use the Bourbon Kingdom code, you get $20 off your first box. I got nothing else to say. Yeah. Uh, all right. And Next we love one. smoke wagons. So I love smoke wagon. Yeah. And, but man, the rye situation over there is just rough. Yeah. Uh, so I have a blank store pick from the world famous silver dollar. Now, world famous. The reason why it's, it's a high end bourbon bar in Louisville. It's, it's for a long time, it was like the bourbon bar mm-hmm. in Louisville. The main reason why I want to talk about this, they did, they, I, I pretty much got a bottle from them last three or four months, it seems like, just they've been dropping picks oh, and, yeah. and doing stuff, uh, which is super cool. But the reason why I want to talk about them is really, they did their anniversary pours thing the other night. I forget what it was. They'd been open for 11 years, so all these pours were 11 bucks. And when I say 11 bucks, it was like 11, it was like 11 bucks for a one ounce pour, and there was OFCs there. Yeah, there was a bunch. There's a 24 year Willet in there. I didn't get to go. There's a Christmas was, rye wild turkey in there. I was really disappointed I didn't get to. I couldn't go either. Yeah, I could. <laughs> but I just wanted to give them a shout out because all these unicorn bottles were available. Ton more Dusties and everything else. And the fact that it was eleven, they were giving away money. Yeah. And that was super cool of them. Yeah. They didn't have to do anything like that and just give them a shout out for and something like yeah, that. So that's really awesome. Uh, my next one is, uh, a Weller Antique. It is what it is. Um, I actually traded for this, so, uh. What'd you, what you trade for it? Uh, I, I traded a Four Roses for it. I picked pick that I, one of the recipes I didn't necessarily love. Mm-hmm. And so, um, I was open for any kind of trade and he said, hey, I have this and, I was like, all right, that's fine. Just one I said, I said, if it's reasonable, I'll say yes to it. So it was reasonable. So I said yes to it. Fair enough. Yep. All right. So my next one is I finally was able to find myself a Remus Repeal 6. Uh, I, I, for a while, we didn't see them in this area. They dropped in Indiana and I missed, I guess, all of them yeah. that dropped around here. Just walked into a total line, was lucky enough to be able to snag one. Um, again, we were actually talking about this before. The more, that you were saying the more like you drink on it, the more you're enjoying it more yes. and more and more. Yeah. And that kind of goes back to, to everything I was saying about it. Yeah, we all know it's not five, but it's still really, really good. It is. So it is know, still really good. I'm at the end of the day. Thoroughly happy with it. Uh my my last bourbon is uh the E. H. Taylor single barrel. Uh this is a liquor barn store pick. Love when you you're in the right place at the right time always uh, the right place in the right time for not, this guy not always but i mean it is nice uh happened to be there on my anniversary which is uh in november uh there just having some pours right before uh, my wife and i were going out to eat uh finish work all that kind of stuff and we're just sitting there hanging out and all of a sudden, she just wheels out a big cart of Buffalo Trace product. Just coincidence. Uh, and we all followed them, followed them up like a like a, you know little mice to the Pied Piper. And we were like, <laughs> oh, okay. So we're standing up there just waiting around. Uh, and the guys, we, we were like the first four in line, and they were kind enough to let me go first. So uh, between this, Weller 12, Full Proof, uh, there was a couple other things. I went with the single barrel because... You all know if you've watched this channel at all, you know I love uh, my single barrels. Some single barrel. And so these don't come around that often, so I grabbed it. So that's technically not Dave's last bourbon of the month. So my next bourbon would be the toasted, or the Michter's Toasted Sour Mash. Uh, was able to snag this over at Justin's House of Bourbon. The nice thing is I left the price tag on here for $199.99. The reason why I left the price tag on it is because... 
Got it for my boy. I owe him money. So, <laughs> super stoked about it. Had had to make sure that was left on there, but after I kind of didn't give it a rave review, I kind of felt like it needed a good home. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I only have half a bottle left of the other one, so. He's crushing it. It's a good one for people to come in at. Uh, my next one, let's go ahead and... This looks like a... Oh, gosh. Now we're getting into the beer part. Oh, yeah. This looks like an E.H. Taylor single barrel, but this is actually a Sierra Nevada uh, barley wine uh, aged in E.H. Taylor uh, barrels. I've already had one of these. Is it good? Fantastic. Awesome. Uh, really, really good. Uh, I'm saving this one for a beer, beer share that we're going to do uh, sometime, hopefully, in December. Uh, not we are going to do because he doesn't like beer. I don't drink uh, beer. Especially uh, the dark beers that I like. Mm-mm. So, uh, But I'm, I, I love this one. This one's really good. All right. So my next one, just got this literally the other day. This is an Old Forester Barrel Strength. This is actually a release at the distillery. And this is the Southern Apple Pie. I know absolutely nothing about it because my wife was actually the one that went and got it. Thank you for that, by the way. I hope it tastes like apple pie. It'd and, really oh, it'd be awesome if yeah. it was. What I find interesting, though, they had some of them that had, like, like, you know, they used to have the old ones, like the MTSs, like Master Taster yeah. Selection. Yeah. And then they had, like, I think it was, like, the OFC or whatever. It was, like, Old Forester Crew or Old yeah. Forester Stat. Or maybe it was, like, I don't know. It was something like that. And now this one, it doesn't even say anything on it. Yeah. So now I kind of am like, man, these are might even be like sneaking around. They might be harder to tell if they're from the distillery or not. Yeah. So, but yeah. overall, pretty excited about it. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's go another uh, beer. This is actually a four pack. Uh, this is I, I think I know like Lagunitis, la, 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 whatever. It's Leonidas. Called, uh, it's it's okay. called Willitized, and it's aged in uh, Willet barrels. Uh, just, this comes out in November, right around Thanksgiving and uh, a little, maybe a little bit before then, but these are fantastic and reasonably priced. These are like, I don't know, 15, 16 bucks, depending on where you get them. Uh, for, for one? No, for a four, oh, okay. for, for a four pack. Uh, well, just wait. There, there's some <laughs> that I'll show you that uh, actually do. Uh, and I spend too much on whiskey. Yeah. So. All right. So my third to last one. Ooh. I, I didn't know, even know you got that. This one, I am. Are we gonna pop that open <laughs> yeah, right now? Wish. So this is the oh, this is a dusty Elijah Craig barrel proof. So I think this is either batch four, or batch five. I can't remember whenever we when I made a trade for it. So had a friend of mine who reached out That's to me. He's three. like, I got a couple of them, and he he tried the one they had open. He's like, I don't really like it. So I was like, Man, well, I'll, I'll, I'll take one. That cork is. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. Soaking wet. I know. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. So, yeah. uh, but I actually just got another one, too, not too long ago, talking about from Silver Dollar. Yeah. So, now I'm just sitting here, I'm like, yeah, I, I kind of want to, like, I have an itch to get back into Dusty's. Yeah, an itch. That and you need to be that's itch. not an itch I want to scratch, because that's a very expensive itch, and it's a very hard scratch to itch. Yeah. So. Uh... For those of you all who are um, more beer, uh, Goose Island, uh, the Bourbon County um, releases. If you're fans of these, uh, this came this came out. I literally walked into the store and they said you can have two of these and one of each of the next you know the next four. And so I just went down the line and, and grabbed uh, all of them. Uh, th- this is like a little four pack. Um, Adam, it says the the uh, reserve. The Goose Island Reserve. I don't know what that means because I didn't. I've, I've not seen these before. I'm sure they've been around before, but really super stoked to try them. Uh, again, this uh, for a four pack. You don't really want to know how much it was. It was forty dollars for a four pack. So that's about ten dollars a beer. Ten dollars for a beer. Yeah, ten dollars a beer. Good night. Uh, again, I shouldn't judge. Yeah. All right. Next one. Have to add a little bit more of Forster before we go. Always. President's Choice, uh, Barrel 25. Uh, so if you all remember last month where I had the Old Forester Birthday Bourbon from 2018, um, and I said I was going to give that to a friend. We were going to make a trade. So we made a trade for uh, – he had a 17. I traded that 17 for a 25 for my buddy Troy because yeah. he 
you know, I was like, hey, I'd like to be able to have a 25 to keep up with kind of yeah. everything I have. Um, and he was willing to do that. So it worked out really well. Yeah, that's awesome. Very happy about it. Yeah. Haven't actually got to try this one yet. I kind of want to call and see if it's on the bar down there and see it. Yeah. And, it. and but, President's Choice is, I mean, we've only had one in the last few that we've not really like loved. And mm-hmm. it was still good. So Yeah. It was, yeah, it, was, it, was it, was, it definitely wasn't bad. Yeah, definitely wasn't bad. Um, all right. So I'm going to bring the next three out all at the same time just so you... Uh, we can kind of keep this at some reasonable what level. What a box. Uh, and these are the uh, Burberry County releases. Uh, this one is an Old Fitz. Like, it's just a, it's aged in Old Fitz barrels. This is the 30th anniversary. Uh, just a super cool one. And then this one's a coffee, a coffee of some sort. Uh, each, again, 39 Like, each of those were 40 bucks, and this one was like 25 or something like that. So... So here's my only complaint about this. Yeah. Is that they do one, they finish the beer in like the, the cat, you know, the, the barrels of whatever it is. Yeah. Right. You're telling me they couldn't do this in some kind of like antique bottle, like in the sense like where, you know. I would, uh, I was hoping. Like that an it old fit, like, like where it had like a decanter. I was hoping that it looked like a decanter. Um, but unfortunately it does not. It just looks like uh, a beer bottle, but the packaging's cool. Sure. Yeah. So, and somebody leave in the comments below. There's probably some beer person out there that's watching this that could be like really helpful and explain a lot of this stuff. I'm just saying it would be super cool if they did. Yeah, it'd be really, really super cool. All right, the last one. Oh, your last one. Yeah. This, talking about Dusties, is a Weller 12. Stop it. (laughs) Weller 12 from 2000. Uh, this, I traded, I traded a bottle for straight up and I told the guy, I was like, Hey, I'll meet you in like a week or so. I'll be off work. You know, we, I can drive down. Cause I think he was based off. Frank- well, we met in Frankfurt. Yeah. Based out of that area. And within a day or two of that happening, uh, that was whenever Yellowstone go ahead and just went ahead and put, you know, well, or 12 out there for everybody in there, but lost their yeah. ever, love, ever loving minds over yeah. it. So first off, shout out to uh, Yellowstone for just increasing this value by like four times the amount. I feel like all Weller is gonna like take uh, an uptick in in, yeah. in value again. Uh, but on a side note, the guy who I made the trade with, yeah, he he got blew up after that, yeah. and I appreciate him honoring the deal and, yeah. and everything else that we did. So super cool, fun, uh, fun little bottle to have. So all right, now the the creme de la creme of all the bottles that we got. Uh, is listen when Blah. when November comes around, uh, your boy Dave here loves eggnog and whiskey. Uh, I just do. Uh, haven't opened this one yet because I has I have one. I mean, you can open it. I mean, it's because <laughs> I'm about to. I'll I'll probably have some uh, here in a few minutes. Uh, but just one of my my favorite things to drink. Uh, once the weather starts to turn cold, I love a good um, eggnog and. Blah. And Evan Williams. I mean, most of the time, I, I I don't always buy it pre-made. A lot of times, I just buy eggnog and mix it with Evan Williams bottle and bond. Uh, but I said, you know, Evan Williams, you're just mixing it together already, so I might as well just buy it this way. So that's what I did, and uh, awesome stuff. I don't like eggnog. Had a really bad experience on eggnog. Really? What night. happened? I had a bad experience. Comments below if you know that movie reference. That's everything for Whiskey Grab. Let us know your month. And uh, until next time, we'll see you. Yeah, we'll see you.